Hello everybody. Today I want to show you what goes into my smoothie. Uh, I've been working out all winter. I've been bulking because I mean this is the perfect time to bulk when you're wearing a bunch of clothes so you can get a little bit fat and nobody notices. Besides the point. Now I started making smoothies for my family because I mean primarily I wanted to increase their nutrition daily but I also wanted to do it on the cheap because I'm a pretty cheap person and I also like flavorful food. I mean my kids who are four and two years old respectively drink this smoothie daily or some variation of so you know that it must taste good enough. <laughs> now there are many advantages to smoothies. One is sheer convenience. I mean it's quite hard to eat like five servings of fruits and vegetables all at once but with a smoothie it's not actually a problem. All right, enough of that stuff. I got a little list I wanna explain real quick. So, ingredient number one, banana. Why bananas? Well, they're dirt cheap, they're delicious, and they're good for you. It's a good amount of bulk that goes into the smoothie as well, helps fill it out. Second on the list would be strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries in there. All of those are very good, especially blueberries and raspberries. Blueberries have a high antioxidant level compared to other berries, I mean. If you'd like to actually know more about this antioxidant and which berries are best, I did actually make a video. And of course, it's berries for cheap as well. Antioxidants for cheap, <laughs> okay? Now, third on the list, we got soy milk. Soy milk is great overall, in my opinion. Um, it has high protein, has good fats in it. It even has a vanilla flavor, the brand that I buy, which is Silk. Delicious, and it's great for you as well. So next on the list, we got spinach. Spinach is great for you, has chlorophyll and nutrients like vitamin A, all sorts of good stuff in spinach. It's cheap too, and it's very mild. Kale, kale is not very mild. It has a strong, bitter taste to it. It's full of nutrients, but hard to chew. You can cook it, it's a lot better. Spinach is great. Anyways, next on the list, I would put broccoli. I don't have broccoli on me now, but it is usually a staple in my smoothie. And I mean, I don't need to explain why broccoli is good for you. Next on the list, we got peanut butter. Uh, this brand, I actually ground up myself at the store. They have a little peanut butter grinder. You pull down a lever and out comes peanut butter. Grinds it on the spot. It's great. Tastes good too. Uh, I mean, peanut butter is a great food in general. It's cheap as well. A big reason why I put it in the smoothie is because it's has a very powerful taste. The kids love peanut butter. I put peanut butter in the smoothie and you know it pretty much masks any taste that they wouldn't like like kale for instance. All right so then next on the list we got hemp protein. That's for me personally. I, I, I like to bodybuild and lift weights so and I love hemp protein for multiple reasons. It's a little more expensive than whey. I used to use whey when I was back in the day uh, and I did see gains that's for sure. However for a few dollars more you get hemp protein. Hemp protein has, uh, it even has fiber in it for one. It has zinc, iron, all, and very high amounts of them too. Great protein. That picture that I just showed you, I actually built those muscles from hemp protein almost exclusively. I mean, besides from beans and lentils and those types of things. Also, Boca burgers, so good. Uh, next on the list we got flax seeds. I did make a video on flax seeds. It's not the greatest video in the world, but it's informative. <laughs> that was from about a year and a half ago. Uh, but flax seeds should be a part of your daily diet. And you can put flax seeds in oatmeal and stuff like that. But in my opinion, uh, it's just easier to put it in the smoothie. You can also use gr uh, ground up flax seeds. You can either grind them yourself or buy them uh, ground up. Not sure if they're less fresh that way. I imagine they would be, oxidation and whatnot. But if you have a Nutribowl that you, or any kind of blender, you could absolutely uh, grind up the flax seeds on your own that way. Uh, after flax seeds come another seed, hemp seeds. Great source of all sorts of things, honestly. I consider hemp seeds to be one of the most superior seeds, along with flax, for a multitude of reasons. I mean, I, I go over hemp seeds in my flax video a little bit, but flax is superior in my opinion to hemp seeds, but hemp seeds have protein and fat and all that kind of good stuff in there. It balances out the flax seeds very well because it has a high omega-6 ratio. Uh, after that, we got vitamin D3 supplement. You just a single drop, 
thousand international units, I suppose. Uh, I mean, it's middle of winter. I, in where I live in Northeast USA, uh, we get like five months of actual sun per year, especially where I live. That's a lucky year. <laughs> so D3 is absolutely necessary, unless you're living in Florida. Last but not least, we got water. Water, I mean, you are hopefully 70% water, roughly. America is dehydrated. This is why I also drink smoothies for that reason. Drinking water isn't that great. It's actually kind of a chore for me. It's hard to drink water all day. What you literally have to do, in my opinion, is uh, pretty much drink every single hour, like at least half of a cup, if not a full cup. That's for me, at least. So, I hope this helps you, and I will show you on chronometer right now exactly how much nutrition this will give you. And it's, I swear by it. I, my wife swears by it. My kids love it. If I don't get my smoothie every, every day, honestly, I don't get that huge boost of, you know, plant foods, uh, I don't feel so swell. My wife says the same thing. If you don't, we don't drink those smoothies, man. We don't feel so good. It's not that you feel bad. It's just you know that you feel better when you drink smoothies. So, hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Any questions, you can post in the comments below. And have a good day. Also, I do host uh, an Etsy shop, mainly for graphic designers. It has overlays and uh, background for Photoshop, that kind of thing. And if you liked any of the music that you heard, uh, you can find links in the description below.